Okay, so we're asked to convert an ordinary number into standard form. First thing to do is just write the number out. Okay, now we've got to identify where the decimal point is. Now that's easier if the decimal point's in the question, but actually it's quite easy if it's not. It's always at the back end, so it's towards the right if it's not shown. Okay, so if you think about that number of uh, 563,000, we could write 0 0.000, but we don't bother because it means nothing. Okay, we've got to move that decimal point to a position that it makes the number between 1 and 10. So, for example, if I moved it here, it would make 563. Well, that's a lot more than 10. If I moved it here, that would make that 56.3. Well, it's closer, but it's still above 10. So, let's remove those ones. We want to move it here. Ooh. We want to move it here to make it 5.63, and that is between 1 and 10. Now, the next thing we need to do is figure out how many times we had to jump the decimal point to get it into that position. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We had to jump it 5 times. Now, to write standard form, you always write a number between 1 and 10 first. Times 10, always that, and it's never divide, to the power of something. Okay. Now this represents how many jumps. So, our number between 1 and 10 is 5.63. And we're just going to write times 10 to the power of. But, the jumps direction do matter. If you jump to the right, it's going to be a negative. If you jump to the left, it's going to be a positive. Now here we jump to the left five times, so it's going to be a positive five. Now, if you're having trouble remembering that, just remember that if the power of the 10 is positive, you get a really big number. If it's negative, you get a really small number, starting probably 0.000, 0, 0, 0 something. Okay.